Many people may prefer to use their laptop like this with the lid closed. It's a good setup, it'll clear up some space on your desk for other important things. And doing so is pretty easy, you go into your power options and disable the lid functionality. But here's an annoying thing about that, like how do you turn on your laptop once you shut down your PC? You have to basically lift the lid and press the power button, that's kind of annoying. Well there are some solutions for this and I found a few easy ones. By far the best one is enabling this option from your BIOS called Instant Boot. Unfortunately, the nature of Windows PCs is that no two machines are identical unless it's the same model, meaning that this option may not be available on every machine. But go ahead, boot into your BIOS and check if you have this, because it'll allow your PC to turn on as soon as you plug in AC power or Type-C power delivery. I enabled this and now if I shut down my PC, as soon as I plug in the power, you can see it turns on. I don't have to press a single button. That's great, it solves the biggest problem people had. There's another similar option as well where you can raise the lid a little bit and once it turns on you can put it back down. I mean you still technically didn't press a power button so I guess it's a solution but you still have to open a lid at which point you might as well press the button right. And there is one more option that isn't present on my BIOS, it's something called wake on keyboard. You can also access that using the UEFI firmware settings if you go into your settings of your windows, head over to recovery and click on restart here, it'll load up this screen and you can click on advanced options. There you'll find UEFI firmware settings, you'll have to restart to get into that page. For most PCs, it'll just lead you directly to your BIOS anyway. And there you may find an option called wake on keyboard under power configuration somewhere. Again, I don't have it, but if you do, then you can essentially have the same functionality where you press a button on your keyboard, any button that you designate, and the laptop will turn on. I'm pretty sure you'll need to have at least a wired keyboard or a 2.4G receiver connection because Bluetooth won't work when your PC is off right? But still, that's a pretty cool solution, you know, being able to press a button and turn on your computer is quite cool. But I still think my first recommendation of plugging in the AC power to have it turn on is the best way. Check if your laptop has it. If it's a newer model, chances are it might have it. And keep it enabled, you know, why not? It'll make it easier to turn on your laptop without opening the lid or pressing the power button. I'm helping you become as lazy as possible. You're welcome. We call it efficiency. Ah!